Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Oh, sorry, my channel. My name is Chile Yenwa. Um, I'm an Nigerian YouTuber based in Inewi, Anambra State, Nigeria. Um, so in today's video, I'll be making our African Nigerian. Um, I'll be making our Nigerian African salad. That is abracha. Um, so you guys should stay tuned as I get started. Guys, these are some of the ingredients for making our Nigerian African salad. Um, this is our abacha, our uba or opaka, red oil, red oil, potash water, blended crayfish, our garden egg, our garden egg leaf, potassium, onions and pepper, our fish, and of course our seasoning cubes and salt. So you guys should stay tuned as I get started. So I'm starting off by pouring hot water into the abacha, although sometimes I prefer to use a mixture of hot water and cold water. In that manner, my abacha doesn't get soft so easily. And yeah, I will allow the abacha to soak for at least 5-7 to seven minutes before washing it out. Then after, I have to put it inside the sieve to dry off the excess water. So guys, this is where the actual work starts. Um, the abacha is all dried up and I'm ready to start the ebuancha. Here, I added some oil into a bowl. Then after I added the potash water and began to stir. So you can always use the mortar, pot or bowl as I'm using right here. And as you can see, the mixture of um, the potash water and oil is coming, out, is coming out together and the color is gradually changing. And one thing you notice here is that the paste is becoming so thick, but that depends on how you want yours to be. Then I added the opaka or oba into the mixture and began to stir. And here, yeah, guys, you can also mix the abacha into the mixture that has oba with it, as I'm going to be doing right here today. You can, or you can mix the opaka or oba mixture separately and set it aside. When you are done with the whole abacha making, you can now place it together with the abacha. Next, I added my calabash nutmeg or eguru in our native language. And guys, eguru is one of the reasons why I love abacha so much. Like, I love the aroma so, so much. And next, I added pepper and gave it a good stir. So then, I added my blended crayfish and my abacha is halfway ready.
And here yeah, guys, there's something you people don't know about me, which I've been doing all this while in my cooking videos. And also, I didn't mention it in my get to know me tag. So that one thing is plating of food. When it comes to plating, like, I enjoy it so much. It gives me so much joy to plate food. So you guys shouldn't mind this kind of time I'm wasting, like not wasting, like I'm taking to be plating this, my delicious mouth watering abacha. So guys, you guys stay tuned as I finish my plating and you see how it looks like. Wow, my abacha is ready and I can't wait to uh, sit down and enjoy my delicious abacha with cold water. Thank you so much for watching. So guys, welcome back once again. Um, I'm done with my abacha. I'm here to enjoy this my delicious African salad. Um, so you guys should join me, and my table is wide open for you all to come and join me. So guys, I've really mixed out out of this life since this year. I've not been eating so many things due to my health and my weight loss journey. Mama, I've missed a batch. Like, this is my first time of eating a batch since this year. Wow. It feels so good right now. It feels so good. Because I love a batch so much. Oh, it feels so good. Mm. Yay! Um, so guys, I'm done with the abacha and I hope you guys really enjoy watching this video. So please, if you do, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. And also, please don't forget to click on the notification bell to get my notification anytime my video goes live. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!